Hey guys, welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. I am so excited you are here today because I have some wonderful Valentine DIYs to show you. And they are so simple and so easy. This is part of a collaboration with a very good YouTube friend of mine, and I will tell you more about that later, but I am very excited for it. Also, if you have not had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I would love if you would consider doing so. And if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. But let's get started. For this project, I am going to use some of this removable wallpaper from Dollar Tree as well as this cute little heart sign. I am just going to remove that metal part of the sign and the little bow on that because I'm not going to need that for this particular project. But I'm just going to flip over that removable wallpaper and I'm just going to trace the shape of the heart. Now I'm going, I'll show you what I have to do because this heart is a little bit bigger than this wallpaper, which is going to be just fine because we're gonna have enough of the scrap left over that I'll be able to kind of fill it in and you'll see how how I do that here in just a moment. Now this is just like a giant sticker, so this little removable wallpaper, so I'm just lining it up after I tear the back off as best I can with my heart. And then you're just gonna rub it down making sure there's no like air pockets or bubbles or anything like that. Now you'll watch what I do here. I'm just taking the scrap piece that I had cut off from this removable wallpaper and I'm just matching that up. And when I press this down after I cut this out, you will not even be able to tell there is a seam there at all. Now I just cut this out as close as I can to the heart itself and then after I do that I will go back in with my fingernail file, use whatever type of like a sanding block or finger sander or sandpaper, but you'll just go in a downward motion making sure that you get all of the edges. That is what is going to clean this up, make it look very high end and like it is actually like a piece of wood with that design on it rather than you know like the little cardboard thing from Dollar Tree that we stuck the wallpaper on so that is very important now I'm just taking some of the greenery that I have uh, in my stash a lot of this came from Dollar Tree I think all of it actually came from Dollar Tree now that I'm looking at it but I'm just kind of putting together a little bouquet if you will that I think looks good with the heart and then I am just going to piece that together here and then wrap some twine around the bottom to get that all tied together like a bouquet Now I do tie this off and then I do go back in and make sure the end is completely covered. I just wanted to make sure to tie it off because that was a lot of twine I was wrapping around and I would hate for it to all come undone and have to do it again. So that's why I stopped maybe like three quarters of the way through, but I did go in and finalize the end of that little um, bouquet you can see here. So that way the end it all looks nice and there's not any of the stem sticking out. So now I just play around with the placement of this little bouquet and I am going to tie some twine around the entire thing and then wrap it around several times. Now you may need to put a little bit of hot glue on the back to hold your twine in place and that is totally fine. And then I also put this little metal heart also from Dollar Tree. I just tucked that in because I thought that was a cute little element. I also glued a little piece of twine onto the back so that way I could hang this so it would be like more of a door hanger, but look at how cute this looks. I think it looks absolutely adorable, perfect for a cute little door or even just to set up somewhere. Very low key Valentines. I am so excited for this video because I finally get to do a one-on-one -on -one collaboration with my very good friend CJ that I have met through this YouTube journey. If you guys have not met CJ yet, you are going to love her and I will leave a link to her channel down in my description box. She is also doing Valentine DIYs today. Here's a little peek at some of the other project that CJ has worked on. She is so talented and she is so sweet and so friendly and I absolutely love her. I am so excited to get to work with her and I know that you guys are going to love everything that she does and she has the best personalities and her videos are so entertaining. You guys definitely check that link down in my description box and I will also pin it at the top of my comments as well so you can find it easily there but thank you so much cj for collabing with me today and you guys let's get right back into the diys but as soon as you're done make sure you click that link and check out cj's channel 
I'm totally loving the cutting board craze right now and I have been looking for some little cutting boards and sometimes you're lucky enough to find some cheaply at Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Haven't seen any at Dollar Tree yet like this, but I'm hoping eventually they get something like this. Other than I guess they have the one they had at Easter time, but I have not been lucky enough to find that. Anyway, I did find this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in my description box below. I, I wanna say the average had to be about $2 a piece. There was like six of them in the thing, um, but I'll leave a link down there. They're very thin, very flimsy. They are definitely just for crafting, not at all for using as an actual cutting board. But as you can see, I'm just taking some scrapbook paper and I put some of the glue stick all over the front of that cutting board, turn it over onto the paper and then cut the shape out. And then I will just go around all of the edges with my fingernail file here. This just makes this look like it's made, like that scrapbook paper was made to go on the top of there. You wouldn't be able to tell that it was glued on or anything like that. You can Mod Podge if you want. This is just going to go on a tiered tray or like tucked in my china hutch so I don't really need the Mod Podge, but you definitely could Mod Podge if you wanted. But I am taking this little wood heart that I have from Dollar Tree and I do just stain it with some antiquing wax and a baby wipe. And then of course I like to take my needle nose pliers and just beat the heck out of it and make it look really, really distressed. The key to making this look like it's an antique piece of wood is after you do make like your little pock marks in it with the needle nose pliers and stuff and kind of really distress it is to go back in with your antiquing wax or your brown paint that maybe you're using with your baby wipe and just kind of saturate those areas to make them look darker so it just looks like it's been aged over time. Now I am just taking some of these little wooden stickers that I have also from Dollar Tree and I just take the Kiss Me and I am painting it in a very light pink that kind of matches the scrapbook paper. Of course, the fun thing about this is you can tailor it to your style and like the decorations that you're doing with your scrapbook paper and with the colors that you're using. But I do just use some hot glue and glue that heart kind of at offset at an angle onto the cutting board and then I will take some super glue um, and glue because it's so delicate, the hot glue just seeps out from these little letters. So I take some super glue and I glue that on after the wood heart has dried. And then I take some of this little berry garland here and just kind of wrap it around so you can still see the kiss me. And then I'll just use some hot glue in the back to make sure that that stays affixed there. You could definitely leave this, but I felt like it needed some type of little like bow or something at the top. So I start with wrapping some jute twine around and then just tying that off in the back. And then I also have some of the baker's twine, like the red and white um, baker's twine, which I feel is so cute for Valentine's. So I also wrap some of that around doing the same thing I did with the twine. And then I will just make a little teeny loop bow using both the twine and the baker's twine. So like the jute twine and baker's twine. <laughs> and I wrap that around. And then once I get my loops, I will just take another piece and tie it off in the center. And that gives you the perfect little shoestring bow and you can wrap it around as many loops as you want to do I can't remember how many I did but I thought it looked a little bit cuter as a little bit of a thicker bow but I just use a little dot of hot glue on the back and then glue that on top of the twine I think this is so cute and so rustic. I love that that heart is a little bit off center. I think this would be so cute on a tiered tray in a kitchen or really anywhere for that matter. For this project, I have this cute little laundry sign that was from a thrift store or garage sale. It was probably very cute in someone's laundry room, but we are going to give it a refresh and a makeover to be a Valentine decoration. First things first, I'm going to give it a couple of coats of a white base paint, so whatever color you would like your base to be. And then I use two inch painter's tape and tape off some stripes. And then to paint my stripes on, I'm doing those in a light pink color. I just put a little bit on my sponge brush there and I will dab lightly up and down each of the little edges of the tape there before I go back in and fill in the middle. I feel like this really does a good job at sealing off the tape there so you don't have a lot of bleed through. And I've had a very high success rate, maybe not 100% foolproof, but I feel like it works most of the time if that makes sense. 
I have this really cute wood love sign from Dollar Tree and I took the little hanger off of it because we're going to paint it with this gold color here and I absolutely love how this turns out. So I'm just using a little brush and I am going in the same direction as the wood grain on here. I feel that that gives it the most smooth look but I just go carefully over all of the letters and then I do all of the edges too since this will be so three-dimensional on our sign you'll be able to see it from all the different angles that that gold color will show through on all sides. Now I go back and I take all of my painter's tape off from my sign and the stripes look really good. Now you do, um, the texture is not so smooth because your paint is a little raised where the stripes were. So I do go over it with a little bit of sandpaper. Now I have this beaded garland here that I got on sale after Christmas time from Walmart. And I'm just taking it and cutting a little piece off because I thought a little beaded hanger on the top there would be really cute rather than just a ribbon or something. But whatever you have, or you could easily string beads if you wanted to do I just thought the beads looked really cute with the sign so I'm just tying that off on both sides To make sure that that stays tied and doesn't come undone, I do put just a little bit of hot glue on there. That just helps the twine stay so it doesn't come unfrayed and the knot won't come untied. And then I'm just using some hot glue on the back of the love sign there, and I will do my best to center it. You can measure if you want. You know that I like to do the eyeball method. And I just press that down, and then that's it. I absolutely love the vibe and feel that this sign is giving. It is so like romantic and precious. And I just, I love the little stripes with that gold color. I think this is perfect for Valentine's. Don't forget that I'm on Instagram also. I love to meet new Insta friends. So I would love for you to come over and say hi, check out my page and see all the latest projects that I'm working on. I'll be sure and leave a link down in my description box so you can easily find me. I love this project and I love that everything came from Dollar Tree. So I'm taking this little um, heart banner that you see there and those little wooden drawer boxes and also this little tray. Now I, my Dollar Tree, I found this tray over by like the dishes and the charger plates and things. So you could easily leave it the gold color, but to match my decor, I'm just giving it a couple coats of some white paint. Spray paint would probably work much better than chalk paint, but it was too cold outside. So that's what I did. Now I'm just taking the out part of these three little drawer boxes from the crafters corner at Dollar Tree and I am just going to give them each um, a nice staining with antiquing wax you can easily use any type of brown paint with a baby wipe just to make it look like it's stained now I am taking three hearts off of this little heart um, garland or banner whatever you want to call this but I'm just taking three of them off of there I want to make the back of these the front for my project. So I do just sand off a little, that little bit of glue that is on there. And then I'm going to paint these the colors of conversation hearts. So I do like a light pink, a light green, and then a very pale yellow. Now I'm taking some barbecue skewers that I had painted with the antiquing wax and just gluing that onto the back of all three of these, as you can see here. And now I'm going to put a little bead of glue all around the outside of the heart on the back and just place it down on some brown crafting paper. And I'm just going to, with anything you have, just kind of smush that glue in to make sure it has a firm hold. And then I will just kind of cut that heart out and then just sand around the edge. This just makes the back of it have a very finished look. So if anybody were to see the back of it, they wouldn't be able to tell like that it had all the glitter and stuff on it from Dollar Tree. Now I am taking the stencil that I also got at Dollar Tree and just some pink paint. Cause when I think of conversation hearts, I think that pink is the color that I feel like they're written in the words. So that's why I chose pink. And I just stencil all of my letters. I do one heart, one letter at a time. So it has time to dry in between, but I do XOXO, hug me and kiss me on all of these. 
I take a little bit of floral foam and just use a little wooden stick there to cut, like a craft stick to cut through the floral foam with, and just cut a little piece big enough to glue down in the bottom of each of these. And I just hot glue that to secure that down. So that way that's not going to be, you know, flopping all around or anything like that. So I take each of the hearts and stick them in the floral foam and I decide that I want to change the height. So to do that, I'm just using my wire cutters. It's barbecue skewers, so you could probably even use a really strong pair of scissors or something like that to cut those off and get them the height that you want them. And then I just use some Spanish moss to cover up that floral foam in the base there. And so now I'm just taking my cute little tray and the tray would be completely optional. I just thought it was kind of fun to have it be like a cohesive look. And I have these little wooden heart stickers from Dollar Tree that I decided to put on the front. I just left them the plain unstained wood because I thought that was a good contrast. The Spanish moss was looking a little bit like drab and plain to me. And so I thought it would be really cute to kind of layer some of this little berry garland in there. And so I just wrapped that a little piece of that around the bottom of each of these. I think these turned out so cute. I absolutely love these. Now for the true debate. Let me know down in the comments if you actually like to eat conversation hearts or if you think they're gross. I personally like them, but I like most candies. So let me know down in the comments. I hope that some of these DIYs inspired you today, or at the very least brought you a little bit of joy watching me create them. If you have a favorite, I would love to know down in the comments what that favorite is. More importantly, definitely let me know if you like to eat conversation hearts. I am very curious of what the majority will rule on that. I am also going to leave a link to CJ's video in my description box and pinned in my comments so you can easily find it. So make sure you go check out her, subscribe to her channel while you're there, go see what beautiful Valentine's creation she has created for you to watch today and let her know that Emily sent you. And as always, be safe, be smart, be nice, be happy. Choose to have a good day because you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. We'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just saw, here's another one that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and have an amazing day.